let's take a look at how we can draw circles round points in QGIS. I've got Greg's locations in Glasgow here, so let's go and double click the Greg's UK layer. That's going to bring up symbology for the layer on the left. And at the moment we have an SVG marker, which is fine. But if I click the plus, we can add another symbol to this layer. By default, it will say simple marker, so I'll select that. Below that, in symbol layer type, I want to change this to geometry generator because we're going to generate some more geometry around this point. What I want to do here is in geometry type, I'm going to change this to polygon slash multi-polygon. And then in geometry, well, where it says geometry, I'm going to click the expression button. Now we're going to use a buffer here. So if you want to know more about that, type in buffer into the search box. And on the right hand side, you'll see a full explanation of what all the options do. But here on the left, I'll type in buffer and I'll open a bracket. After where it says dollar sign geometry, I'll put a comma. I want 500 meters round each point. I put another comma in. The segments in a buffer is essentially how smooth the buffer is. So if I put 50, it'll be a nice smooth circle. And that's all I need. So if I click OK, that's fine. But we've got a simple fill here, which is fine. But let's change the color to maybe a blue and let's make it a little bit more transparent. And at the moment, the SVG marker is below the circle. So let's highlight SVG marker and move it up. And if I click apply, we can see what happens. Now, if we decide we then want another circle around each point, that's pretty simple. We just select geometry generator and we can hit the duplicate symbol layer button. And I can do it again. So in the first one, let's choose 200 as the distance in the second, oops, 200, not 2000. In the second one, let's choose 350. And the third one's got 500 and then we can click apply. So other things we could do here, for example, in simple fill, we could change that all to transparent. So let's do that. Okay, apply that. If we wanted it to be a dotted line, we could change it to that in each one. So instead of simple fill with a solid line, we can do a dotted line in each one. And we can change the distance and everything as much as we want. But that's how you can create circles, round points, without creating any new shape files or geo packages or anything. It's done via this thing called Geometry Generator, which generates a geometry on the fly in QGIS. And finally, let's just change the colours back to what it was, roughly 50% blue transparent. And that will make things look a little bit clearer on screen. There we go. That's it. And I hope you find that useful.